I'm Lily Lewis, I'm a mother, I am a women's justice ambassador and I'm also an ex-offender. We all have a story but mine started definitely the day that I was born. My birth mum felt that she couldn't take me home as I wouldn't be accepted by the rest of her family. She was married to a white man and I'd had an affair with a Jamaican man. Early childhood just never felt like I belonged had real issues with abandonment, rejection, and was introduced to alcohol at the age of 15. Alcohol had become a friend of mine, and I would drink, so I didn't think. With that, I very quickly got into some controlling relationships. I would think that when these guys were controlling me, that it was love. That spiralled out of control for me, really, for the next 30 years. And I thought seriously about taking my own life. The whole time just seemed such a blur and just so much chaos. I met a younger partner who told me that he had some university debt and that he couldn't get a business bank account. So I set up a company for him and my role within that was taking money out and giving it to him. He said I didn't have to do any running of it, but um, I would be able to benefit from it financially. Eventually, I was arrested and charged with conspiracy to defraud, which led to an eight-year prison sentence. The turning point for me was definitely the day that I was sentenced, sitting in the prison van and the stark realisation. I kind of remember saying to God, you've given me all of this time, what am I going to do with it? And as clear as day, he answered that you're going to support people and it was so clear. And I just knew that something positive was going to come out of this really negative situation. From entering prison, I became a Samaritan listener. Quite often get a knock on the cell door at four in the morning, somebody just wanted to chat or they just couldn't cope. So when I got released, that was when I definitely felt I'm able to use all of the skills that I've gained to something really positive. Life today is really good it's really structured i live a really healthy lifestyle i definitely enjoy the simple things in life going to the gym going for walks speaking to my children learning to be mum again just having structure and discipline and enjoying freedom when i reached out to um, interchange who i'd done some voluntary work with before they said there would definitely be an opening for me to come back and use my lived experience of domestic abuse to write my own programmes. They call me an expert by experience. The programme that I deliver talks about my life, how that looked on the outside, because sometimes it can appear that everything's fine in your life. So we go through what my life looked like, the fantasy of it, the reality, and then we go through all different types of abuse, from um, sexual to coercive, you know, for me, it's a constant reminder of everything I've been through, and sometimes I find that difficult. But I think, especially when you're educating younger people, when you can give examples of how you've lived through that, they are a lot more receptive and they listen a bit more than listening to somebody who hasn't had these experiences. I wish I'd have reached out when I was much younger. Don't be frightened to ask for help. Looking at my past, you know, sometimes I think, was my life destined from being abandoned? Was it always going to have this trauma? But actually, I've used everything negative and turned it on its head and living it in a positive now. So I'm definitely more in my past.